In this video, we will explore a new concept called dual matrices, which is a unique way of working with matrices. Unlike the standard approach, which focuses on row and column operations, dual matrices utilize diagonals for calculations. This introduces a new perspective on matrix multiplication, finding identity matrices, and solving systems of linear equations. Let's begin by understanding how to multiply dual matrices. Instead of multiplying rows by columns, as in the standard method, we multiply the diagonals of one matrix with the diagonals of another. For example, consider two general 2x2 two two matrices A and B. To compute their product matrix C, start by multiplying the first diagonal of A with the first diagonal of B. This gives the first element of the first diagonal of C. Then multiply the first diagonal of A with the second diagonal of B to get the second element of the first diagonal of C. By repeating this process for the remaining diagonals, we generate the complete resultant matrix C. Now that you understand diagonal-wise multiplication in the dual matrix system, let's move on to finding the identity matrix. The identity matrix is a matrix that, when multiplied by another matrix, returns the same matrix. Suppose we have a square matrix A with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let the identity matrix I have elements A, B, C, and D. When we multiply A by I, the result should equal A. After performing the multiplication and comparing corresponding elements, we simplify to find that the identity matrix in this system has elements 1 and 0 in the first diagonal and 0 and 1 in the second diagonal. With the identity matrix established, let's find the inverse of a matrix A. The inverse matrix, when multiplied by A, yields the identity matrix. Assume A has elements A, B, C, and D, and its inverse has elements W, X, Y, and Z. By multiplying A with its inverse and comparing the result to the identity matrix, we derive a set of four equations. Solving these equations step-by-step step provides the values of W, X, Y, and Z. Substituting these values back into the inverse matrix gives us the desired inverse. Finally, let's discuss an interesting point about the flexibility of matrix multiplication. In the dual matrices notation, we focused on diagonal multiplication to perform operations. However, if you prefer a method closer to standard matrix multiplication, you can use column to row multiplication instead of the traditional row to column multiplication. This alternative method aligns with the structure of standard operations, but offers a fresh perspective for computations. This innovative system of dual matrices opens up exciting possibilities for solving mathematical problems in a new and efficient way. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this explanation insightful.